Hi everyone! Today I'm going to talk about the new NARS Audacious Mascara. Okay, so on Monday in LA on NARS Melrose, they had a special release party for the NARS Pro artists. So I was able to get the mascara early and try it out for myself. Um, and when you bought this, you also received a free Audacious lipstick in the color Carmen, which is just a gorgeous hot red. It's gorgeous. Check it out. Beautiful. So, um, yeah, so I'm here to just do a live review and swatch and tell you what I think of the mascara and tell you if it's worth your money. So, first things first, it's called Black Moon, which honestly I think is really, really, really cool. It comes in this box, you got red on the top. And let's open it up. Okay, so it comes in this pretty swanky tube. It says NARS, you roll it around, it says Audacious Mascara, it has the red top, and then it has the color Black Moon on the bottom. Okay, so when we open it, this is what the head of the brush looks like. Now, this formula is clearly so black because the tip of this is actually red, so this is pretty incredible right now. So I don't have, I don't have anything on my eyelashes because I wanted to show you what a real, you know, what it looks like in real life, in real time, I guess we should say. So let me get in just a little closer. Okay, so from what I can tell so far, it's actually very good at not clumping up. It's a very wet formula. Okay, so this is just a first coat, and this eye clearly has no mascara on it, so you can really see the difference here. I'm gonna say that I like it so far. Let's try a second coat. You can kind of see the red come out as you start applying. Okay, so what I really like so far is how it curls my eyelashes. If it's one thing I have a problem with, it's using an eyelash curler because my eyelashes are so long and then it just ends up looking like I dented them and it doesn't look cute at all. So I really like that so far. Okay, so here's two coats. And then here is no. So, you know, decide for yourself if that's the kind of look that you like. Um, I'm gonna finish up. Oh God, you've probably been hearing my laundry this entire time, have you? <laughs> Sorry, it's called multitasking. I do have a life. Okay, so this is the finished look for the NARS Audacious Mascara. I'm going to say so far that I like it. Um, I'm not sure about its wearing power because this is the first time I've put it on. I am going to test it out, obviously, for the day and see how it see how it does. I know when I wear Perversion from Urban Decay, it starts off looking good. And then during the day, like it transfers onto my under eyes. So I don't like that one. Their real, their real mascara is actually my number one. It was my holy grail. Was, is, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how this one does. Maybe I can replace it. Um, the thing I like, the thing I like about their real is it makes my eyes look, makes my eyelashes look really big. Um, it's basically waterproof, is, even though it isn't marketed as being a waterproof mascara, it's basically waterproof. I have cried wearing that mascara all the time and it doesn't transfer it doesn't move it, it is actually very difficult to get off so 
that was my holy grail plus i really like the plastic um bristles which is what this one has and so depending on how it lasts today because it's very hot so this will be like a true test to see how well this mascara does then i will let you know um probably just like in a tweet or something or maybe a blog post i don't know maybe we'll come back to it we'll let you we'll see let you know how it does oh no how did this already get scraped up what the heck Ugh. my freaking thing got scraped up that's so sad that really sucks well now i know it's mine um yeah so this is uh, I think overall I'm pretty happy with how it came out. You know, mascaras are hard because so many different people want so many different things in their mascara. Like, a lot of people just want vol volumizing. Some people just want curling. Some people just want, like, blackest black. I personally need, like, waterproof status and blackness. And, I, like, I really like the lifting that this has done. Like, it's such a huge such a huge relief for me because my lashes always get stuck they get stuck right here and it drives me banana sandwich so <laughs> i really so far have liked what this has done it's 26 dollars on the nars website um it's kind of pricey not as pricey as some a little pricier than others but pretty typical for an upscale mascara so overall i like it i really like it you know what i'll do Depending on how it lasts, I'll just put it, I'll just update the description bar. Sorry, that's my laundry going off because I'm multitasking right now. Um, yeah, so I will just update in the description box how it lasts, how it has stood up to the heat, whether or not it has transferred. Um, yeah, and I will let you know about that. So let's see how it's described. It's described as extreme volume, extreme length, extreme control. NARS exclusive lash catching brush intensifies with every layer. Over 200 hooks and bristles guide a silky formula from roots to tip with full precision. Multiplies, amplifies, mesmerizes. Ophthalmologist tested. So I think honestly it's lived up to its description. It doesn't say anything about being waterproof, which kind of sucks because I think all mascaras should be waterproof. I mean, I don't see the point of them not being waterproof. And what I mean why um yeah I definitely think that it lives up to the description I'm obviously very happy I actually bought another one to use on my clients because I don't have well I just ran out of my mascara so I was like oh they came with the new one might as well buy two so plus I wanted the lipstick so yeah I hope you found this useful informative I hope it helped you in your decisions whether or not you're gonna look into this um, so thanks for tuning in and I will see you next time bye